Although Dr. Martin Luther was a university professor, he was also a pastor, a preacher on the staff of the City Church, St. Mary's, in Wittenberg. Another man who divided his time between church and university to a greater extent even than Luther was the pastor at the City Church, Johann Bugenhagen. Only a couple of years younger than Luther, Bugenhagen had become attractive by Luther's writings. In 1521, he went to Wittenberg and came under the wing of Luther and Melanchthon. Over the course of time, his organizational abilities became evident. He contributed to the composition of church orders for other cities and was even lent out for months at a time to help organize church affairs elsewhere. This portrait is from 1537, which was about the time when he went from Wittenberg to what eventually turned out to be two years in Denmark. After Luther and Melanchthon, Bugenhagen was the third most important reformer in Wittenberg. A man of many talents, he became a biblical scholar in his own right. He turned several series of his university lectures into books. He made a big contribution to the translation of the Bible from the original languages into German. And he also became pastor at the city church, which made him not only Luther's colleague, but also Luther's pastor. It was to Bugenhagen that Luther confessed his sins. For Luther had not given up private confession when he left the monastery. Bugenhagen showed himself to be quite a physician of the soul. Once he told Luther, God must surely be asking himself, what can I still make of this man? I have given him so many superb gifts, but now he questions my grace. Luther said, for me, this was an immense comfort, like the sound of angels.